Welcome to the project demonstration of uh, vehicle ignition accessing system by using face recognition and SMS alert with electrical shock. So directly we are showing the demonstration now uh, to get the sky view. So in the sky view only the system will provide the light language values. As we can see on the LCD, so we can see the light language values. So as you can see the LED indication on the GPS also. So when we place the kit under the sky view, the antenna will get the satellite vision. So it will provide us the live location values. So let us see the demonstration. Later we will explain you the component wise and uh, total positive working. So now just I am standing in front of this camera and when I am accessing this ignition by pressing the switch. So capture the image. So whenever the access granted, right. So now the ignition got switched on. We can see the motor is running and the system is sending the message to the registered phone number. Right. So we got the message here. So I access, authorized access at the local location. So just when we click on this, so it will directly redirect to the live location of the vehicle where it was accessed. So right. This is our current location directly. Right. So near image hospital. So at this live location. So now let us uh, go with the explanation. So here uh, mainly we are using Raspberry Pi 0 to W uh, which is mainly used to capture the photos whenever the person is trying to access the ignition through the switch. So then after that the system will uh, process the image and if the person was access granted the person 1 and 2 then the system will on the ignition through this transistor board and this is a battery power we are going to providing for the ignition unit and it will uh, if the person was and also it will send the sms alerts which uh, has a location as we have seen uh, previously right i will show you that and the particular sms consists of access granted and if the person was denied alert unauthorized access at so called location so as we have uh, explained clearly initially when we demonstrate this project under the roof then the system will provide us the zero zero values like this and there is no LED indication on the GPS also and we can see on the LCD searching for satellite and if you place the kit under the sky view then we will get the live location values and the next if the person is unauthorized then the system will lock the door with the help of this electromagnetic relay and it will provide us the uh, stimulation electric shock through this taser for that we are using this electromagnetic relay Com coming to the component wise so this is a transformer which is used to provide the power supply for this locking system through this relay and uh, this is a pi camera and pi 0 to w and uh, these two control buttons to on and off the ignition and these two control buttons to enroll the faces and to format the faces and this one is a gps antenna and this is a gps module and this one is a 16 by 2 lcd screen and we are using 30 rpm dc motor which is uh, representing the ignition unit and this one is a main gsm module to send the SMS alerts, it's an electronic uh, online lock, electromagnetic relay, taser and the battery for the taser and the next this one is a buzzer to provide us the audible alerts and this is a relay to on this taser unit and this one is a regulated power supply unit which will take 230 volts AC input for the transformer and the output of the transformer is connected to this RPS board to provide the 12 volts which is operating voltage of our electromagnetic relay. So these are all about the component wise. So let us see the demonstration. So on the power supply initially and uh, so as we have uh, discussed clearly we should have at least 4 to 5 faces to be stored inside this using this end roll button. Right and after on the power supply to this transformer also. So when we on the transformer there we can see the LED indication on this regular power supply board. So it will take around 5 to 6 seconds. Yeah one more thing sorry I forgot to tell you before insert on the power supply to this Raspberry Pi insert a valid sim card right so this is a main setup first so it's a micro sim card so push to lock and push to unlock after inserting the sim card on the power supply. So use Airtel or VI other than Geo. So you can see 
one light blinks fast you can see that one light is blinking very fast okay so when you get the signal the blinking rate is slow down right you can see that the blinking rate is slow down that is indication of the sim card will get the signal and it will use it to send the messages so after around 20 to 30 seconds of duration the system will log in and we can see the welcome message on the lcd screen right So as you can see searching for satellite means we are demonstrating the kit under the roof that's why there is no sky vision satellite vision for the GPS module. So now let us see uh, for access uh, denied a message initially as we have seen the access granted already. Right so as uh, we are going to on the ignition just press the switch so on the LCD we can see the capture image. Access denied. So the door lock, you can see the door lock and taser also got switched on and the system is sending the message now. Right. So we got the message for the denied person. So this is a message alert unauthorized. Right. So we reset the same timing also. Right. And coming to the access granted. Right now. So person 1 uh, which we have stored inside this camera is sitting in front of this. Now when we press this again to on the ignition. So when we press the switch should take care of the camera should not be blocked. Much. Access granted, the ignition got featured on. It's sending the message now. Right, access granted, so call zero. So, no, so for every time, as we discussed previous also, there should be right, taser on. Now, let us see the how to format and enroll the new faces. Now, to format this. You just press and hold this F button so we can see the deleting the database now the stored database totally will be deleted right so now pressing the E button it will be entering into the enroll so while uh, enrolling the new faces now the person one so we should have a plain background and no two or three person should be present there so you can see the count will be increased when the face detected right so if the face was not detected the count will be stops and passing the video and you can see that so when the 45 count reaches the face is successfully enrolled now again it will enter into the monitoring section so e for enrolling f for format now when i on this again so right access granted as my face got enrolled and we can see the ignition got switched off and we are going to receive the SMS now. Right, this is the SMS. Right. In this manner, the vehicle, uh, vehicle ignition will be accessed through the image processing of face recognition. Right.